So this is a game called Giggling. It's by Capcom of all people, and believe it or not, they actually made a bunch of shoot 'em up games. They actually made a Giggling one and two. They made a game called Mars Matrix and a bunch of others. But what the focus of this game is is you have something called the Reflect Force, where if you hold down the fire button long enough, you reflect the shots back at the enemy, and you get a bunch of medals and you get a bunch of points. This doesn't really serve any other purpose outside of damaging the enemy, and it's not required to beat the game, but you pretty much have to use it all the fucking time. So I am going to pick Ruby because, as I do in most shoot-em-up games, I like picking the ship that has just a straightforward shot, no spread shot, whatever else. But there are different uh, selection of characters you can do. You can do Isha, who has homing missiles, I guess, stuck with the weirdest fucking name I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I guess he's stuck with it. Ah, ha, 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 that's terrible. And uh, he shoots out these, like, bombs that explode. And then you've got Sinosuke, which is a spread shot dude, so... Yeah, so I like pick Ruby because I just said why. So I'm gonna pick start here, and then I guess she's like a uh, orphanage mother or something like that. And so I guess she was once a sky pirate, but now she's like retired, and now she's helping out the kids and something. I don't know. So I guess she has to go kill like thousands of people to uh, help out kids, even though those people were once kids. So that makes total sense. But um, you basically get the uh, medals, and with each one you collect. Without dying, the multiplier goes, well not the multiplier, but it successively goes up cumulative. Like, let's say I get one medal that's uh, 10 points, then the next medal will be 15 points, the next one will be 20, or 20, and then 25, and so on. So, so if you don't die in this game, and you continue collecting medals, you can get a ridiculous amount of points in this game. Like, like you notice how the points are already what they're at? Yeah, notice like that's pretty much like nothing compared to what they're going to get to. And I shouldn't have killed that ship right there. I could have gotten ridiculous points from it. Let's see, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here just a little bit. This whole place blows up. Right here. Wait for this dude. Here you go. So we're reflecting back at him. And you get all the medals and holy fuck, your points just basically skyrocket. So it's actually like, you know, what you're supposed to do is like use that reflect shot and wait until some enemies shoot a whole bunch of bullets at you and then fuck them up. Also, that plane's a dick for going in reverse. It's also good when you're getting a straight out swarm with bullets and you need to get the hell out and you don't want to get your, you know, ass blown off. Because it does recharge fairly quickly. It's a pretty quick recharge. When you have enemies like this, you just don't even shoot much and they're just assholes. Come on. There we go. But be careful because many, many times I have died in this game because the game says okay. But when it says okay, you're not immediately okay to do it. It's like a, it's about like a second or so, not even a second, like a half second afterwards. So the minute you hear okay, you know, it's it's a very very tiny amount of time afterwards you can actually use it. So don't get fucked over by that. Fuck you. Yeah. So I mean, look at my points over. I'm already at. God, I don't even know what the hell number that is. It's like 400 and friggin' something. I'll look at when this is stage over. Fuck it. But yeah, there's my multiplier there too on the upper left, the one with the red gem. My multiplier is times 981,000 per thing I destroy. So yeah, that should tell you right there. I'm almost at a million. So many pointless deaths? What the fuck are you doing, lady? Have you taken a look at what you're doing? You also have a time limit for each boss, which I think if you don't complete it, you don't die, but you don't get like the special end of stage boss bonus. And unless you just totally fuck around, there's not many bosses that this is actually going to happen on, except for like one or two of them where they are really difficult to kill sometimes if you don't really just like nail them over and over with like reflect shots. And they all have this like that weird thing in the middle. I don't know if you saw it, but it's like a weird disc in the middle. So let's see, I'm at. I also like this music at the end. Okay, one, two, three, four, four, four. I'm at 209 billion.